Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little laser circuit that I made. Uh, it involves no direct hardware comparator or amplifier. It requires an LDO, a light dependent uh, resistor, or rather a phototransistor, a button, a piezo buzzer, a 5 volt regulator, and a PIC 10F222. Now I'll be making an instructable about this, hopefully you find it interesting. Uh, what I'm actually using here is I'm coupling a signal from the LDR directly to the analog to digital converter on my PIC 10F222. So I can make the sensitivity extremely, I can make it extremely sensitive based on certain register settings within the PIC. So usually when you're working with LDRs, when the light changes, the resistance of the LDR changes, and that's the, that is the case here. However, we don't care about that. What happens is, is when something changes, an immediate change happens within the uh, lighting area, a little AC si signal is coupled from a capacitor to the analog input of, of the uh, ADC on the PIC. So when a little when, it, when a change occurs and a, sp and a spike is detected, that's when the alarm starts sounding. So I've already activated it by pressing the on the button. So let's let's quickly breach it. And it will keep doing that until I press the button. I press the button again to reactivate it. So what I've got here is a little laser, a 3-volt laser, pointing at my LDR. So um, you can actually use this almost as a, uh, a proximity detector because you can configure the uh, signal coupling here and the, the sensitivity. So it's so... If if you cast a shadow over it when there's no laser pointing at it, if you just have it activated in the room and you walk past it, a shadow will activate it. Very 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 sensitive. So, but right now I'm just using it as a laser detection. Now you can use this from across the room. As I said, you're not worried about the change in resistance. You're worried about the little signal that's being coupled along that little 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Extremely small board, simple program. Uh, I hope that you guys will actually look through my Instructable and uh, find it interesting. It'll be available within a few days. Again, very, very little hardware here. Uh, Three-volt three laser and LDR cost a few pennies. What I'll be doing is making this into a kit because we make a lot of kits. Uh, you can find them all at engineeringshock.com or at electroniclessons.com. Uh, we're building all kinds of kits, including uh, kits with printed circuit boards, so please have a look at our store. But again... One little microchip, a couple passive components, an LDR, a button, a piezo buzzer, and a regulator. You don't need the regulator if you have 5 volts at the input already. The, the regulator is just so that you can use more than 5 volts. Anyway, so I'll, I'll just one more time just for fun. Press the button. The laser is here pointing directly at my LDR. So someone walks into the room. Our alarm goes off, and it will stop when I press the button. And I can hold that button down for as long as I want, and as soon as I let go, it goes into standby mode again, at which point I have to press the button one more time to activate it again. Anyway, hopefully you like the instructable. Thanks for watching, guys.